Hey there, it's your main man E and I'm here with the lovely Billy. Billy's here for some reactivity. The owner was concerned possibly there was human aggression going on. What it really came down to was just some training that needed to happen. So what I wanna do here is this little video just showing how I do a work to play transition and how I get a dog who already has a lot of play drive to understand how to offer me commands for the toy. It's really important that we have a word that means we're gonna start the play. In this case, her word is fetch. Wanna fetch? Oh, nice. And sometimes if we're working a new dog, oh, nice. Oh, good girl. We may need to cheer them on to keep them having fun and letting, us, letting them know, hey, we're just trying to play. We're not trying to manipulate their play drive to get them to do things. You ready? Oh, nice. Good girl, Bill. Good girl, Billy. Nice. Oh, nice. You got it. Nice. Good. Notice I'm not saying drop it. I'm just cheering the dog on, letting them know, hey, I'm all about the fun. I'm all about this retrieve game. This is awesome. Oh, good catch. Nice. Good catch. So once I get the dog going and they're playing and they're having a good time. Oh, nice. What a good girl. Then I'm going to introduce the out. Now this dog, the owner has been practicing an out with. So we're going to go pretty smoothly with that. Oh, nice. Oh, yeah. Hi, baby. Hi. Out. Okay. Oh, good girl. You can hear one of my other dogs back there really upset. She wants to play. Out. Down. Okay. Good girl. Nice, Bill. Nice, baby. Nice. Oh, good. Out. Down. Okay. Good girl. There we go, baby. There we go. Out. Down. Let's go. Heel. So watch right here. The way I position this Frisbee is going to kind of motivate the dog to move into this position so she can watch the Frisbee. Okay. Once she's in that position that I want her to be in, I'm not going to say a name right now. I'm just going to say, okay, and let her know that putting herself into that position is a great idea because there's a high likelihood the toy will come when she's in that position. Billy, heel. At the same time, I'm always kind of seeing how much does the dog know the word? Do they really know the word? So right there, I said the word heel. To me, we could work more on creating value in this command before we start repeating that name more. Let's go. Heel. Okay. The reason I'm playing in this area here is just to create a lot of engagement and value in being close to me. Out. Heel. Okay, nice. A lot of times with these type of retrieving dogs, if we do excessive long throws, the dog will find a ton of value in being far away from us. That's where most of the fun happens. That's where the catch happens. But when we do these smaller game play areas, like, you know, within six feet of us, the dog's able to understand, wow, you know what? Like. Being within six feet of this person is actually a great idea because, well, that's really where a lot of fun happens. Billy, heel. Okay. So right there, I just kind of let her come around on her own. I said the command. She was just kind of wobbling and looking around, and I waited. And once she put herself into that position, I then said, okay. This is actually my first do time working with this dog away from the owner, so. Okay. What I'm actually doing right now is a little bit of free shaping. Out. Okay. The reason I wanna throw the toy backwards is because this dog tends to forage ahead in the heel, and you will find sometimes that the throws and the forward motion can cause a dog to anticipate that movement and they will be ahead kind of hoping gosh if i go a little bit ahead i know when i'm ahead the toy gets thrown so maybe if i'm ahead 
they'll throw the toy. Out! Billy. Okay. Good girl. Notice I'm not using much leash pressure at this moment. Out. Okay. Nice. Out. Okay. Oh, what you got? What you got? Nice. Good girl, baby girl. So that's all we're going to do is just a short little play session like this. And right now, ooh, nice. You want it? Right now, we're going to do some longer throws. It's fine. Just keep the camera on me. <laughs> right now, we're going to do some longer throws and just play with her a little bit after this. Uh, to speed her up a little bit, but that's basically the idea is you get the dog to be able to pause the game while still being engaged with you. Then when they move themselves into or you guide them into a particular position, then you say the release word and then you give them the toy. So that moment I'm saying, okay, is really marking the exact instant she's doing the right behavior. At this point, I'm not going to name that behavior because I would like to get that behavior really solid and looking really good so that when I do call it a heel, it's like heel. And she comes into this position, she looks, she's like right in the proper position and then, okay. So I hope this video is helpful and we're gonna be putting out a lot more videos like this. If you like this video, go ahead and subscribe to my channel or hit the like button. And remember, we don't blame them, we train them.